So we're going to be working on the back of this pocket page. Make sure you mark the top so we, you never get confused. Now, I originally was going to do a, a waterfall because I always like waterfalls in Christmas albums because they hold a lot of pictures. But I was looking for something different and then yesterday uh, a designer, Michelle Allen, and I'll link her video below, was demonstrating a new album she made. I love watching her videos and she had this thing that I'm going to show you that she made. It's something like this. So if you can see it, it I've changed it a little bit. She didn't have a ribbon closure and it just opens up like this. So it opens up like this. So you have this, this, have a little pocket here, and then you have another pocket up here with an insert. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, you get a lot of photos in this little piece. Um, I don't know if this is going to work. I've never done it before. She had it with this insert holding down these flaps. I've tried it and I can't get them to stay down. So I added the ribbon. Obviously not that color, but we're gonna try to make this and see what happens. So first you're going to be cutting a base. We're going to be building this element on a base eight inches by six and a half inches. So just put this aside. I'm not scoring this at all. Make sure that this base that we're gonna be building on it fits on your pocket page. And we're talking about the eight. So this is flush with the eight because we need it to be the same height. So just make sure it's flush with your, your pocket page. So put that aside. We're gonna be building on this. We are going to be making a pocket. So you're going to cut a piece seven and a half inches by six and three quarter inches. You're going to put it with a seven and a half inch side up and you're going to score it at seven and a half an inch. And then you're gonna flip it around so the six and three quarters is on top and you're gonna score it at a half an inch. So this is going to be a pocket. Like we do with all pockets, going to miter these corners. So just miter those corners. And then I miter the top of the pocket here too. And you're going to fold and burnish these real well and put your score tape. So I think I'm gonna stop there and go ahead and get my score tape and put this on my base. So I have my score tape on and everything's been mitered. This is going to be, here's your base. You're gonna adhere this to the base. It's going to be lined up with the bottom edge here. And get that lined up and squared up and pull the tape or your glue, whatever you do, you do not need to put any black construction tape or scotch tape down here because what we're going to be putting in here is not going to reach all the way to the bottom. You, can't, you, you could, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to get this uh, lined up, my tape pulled, and I'll be right back. So I have that pocket in. So put this aside. Next, you're going to cut a piece. You're gonna need a 12 by 12, your 12 by 12 paper. You're going to be cutting a piece that's 12 inches long by seven inches high. You're going to put it in your scoreboard and you're going to score it at four inches and eight inches. And then you're going to flip it around so the seven inch side is on top. You're going to score it at six and a half and a half. So 
So there's all the score marks. Now what we're going to do with this, so go to this side here. We are going to be mitering the corners here and here and here and here. This part, this half inch here and here, we're just cutting it off. So I've, I've, I've tried to hand cut this all the way up just by following the, my score marks and doing a hand cut till I get to that miter and I can never get it straight. Maybe it's just my hands are not that good. So what I'm going to do is put it in my scoreboard and I am going to, not scoreboard, into my cutter, my paper trimmer. I'm gonna take a half an inch up here and I'm gonna stop at this score mark here. Same thing, half an inch and stop at this score mark here. That's what I'm gonna do and I'll be right back. If you feel comfortable hand trimming it, you can, you can do that too. So I put those in my trimmer and cut them. So you can see them dangling there. Now I'm just going to miter this, this corner. Grab some scissors, just miter that up to that score mark and miter this corner. Oops. And then same thing with this, I'm going to miter this piece up to this score mark where I cut it and then miter this. So once you have it cut, you should have it looking like this. So you have this end here on the left side with these two half inch tabs. So we are going to go ahead and fold those, fold and burnish those. Let's see, I did not get this straight. Oh my gosh, I did not get that straight. Look at that. Ah. And if I can take that in and get it a little bit straighter. Um, let me try. I'm going to try. I did not get mine cut straight, very straight. So it's folded. Oh, I got to put my um, score tape on there. Um, but what we're going to be doing with this, you're going to be adhering this piece. Go ahead and fold this piece. Here's the fold part right here. We are going to be making this into a pocket. So um, what you could do before we do the folding, if you have an envelope punch board, this is a six inch pocket, a six inch length right here. Put it in there and put it in at three inches and push it down. That's in the middle. If you don't have an envelope punch, just um, use a circle punch and put it in the middle. So that's going to be our pocket. So go ahead and fold this piece over. Here's this fold line right next to the pocket. Fold it over. You now I can see how, how I really didn't cut it straight, but how bad was I? Oh, not too bad. And what you're going to do, this part, this is going to be adhered to your base pocket page on this corner, on this edge of this pocket that you just put in. It should be the same, the same, um, it's not the same height. This one has a quarter of an inch strip on top. So you put it towards the bottom, line it up with the bottom, get that straight. And with this one, you are just going to be adhering a little bit of glue down at the end here. And then if you have um, score tape, 
you'll be pulling those tabs. Get this lined up here, pull the tab, and then get it lined up on the top here and pull your tab. So I'm gonna get my score tape on. So I used my glue and got that adhered down and I made sure this line was straight at the bottom. Well, we haven't folded the second fold here, but that's straight. Let's open this back up. I'm gonna burnish that down again. Make sure I got that in good. Looks good. So now we have just these, these flaps that we're going to pull and close off our pocket. So the way this is going to fold, so it's in there like this. If you can see where the pocket is. Let me get a piece of paper if you guys can see. Oh my gosh. So here's where the pocket is. This first fold is gonna go this way. And then the second fold is going to go in this direction. Make sure it folds straight. And before I press it down, I'm gonna put it up to my eyes and make sure it looks like it's going straight. Then you're going to cut a piece six by eight and a half inches. So six by eight and a half inches you're going to put it in the scoreboard with the eight and a half on top and you're going to score it at four and eight so next you're going to get the six by eight and a half inch piece and you are going to fold that half inch score line miter the corners if you use score tape, put on your score tape. Now this is going to be going in this direction, I believe, let's see, oops. It's going to be adhered, open, open up this part that you just put in, open up this part. We are now going to be applying it to the edge right here on this opposite side, so the, this side here. So you're going to get your, your piece and you're going to line it up with the edge and then you're going to go ahead and get that straight make sure it lines up with the the piece you just put in down below and once it looks all good just either pour your pull your score tape or get that glue um, that glue in and I'm gonna have to put my head down because I can't see and get that squared away and I'll be right back so this flap is in. The way you're going to fold this is you are going to fold it towards the edge here. When you fold it, make sure it's nice and straight. So that's folded. So what you have now is this. So my dilemma was, how do you keep it down? Um, Michelle used a, a card in the back that she folded over. And it kept hers, hers down. And maybe once I get my, all my paper on, that will hold it down. Um, I'm not sure if it will. Or if I put it underneath some books, it'll hold it down. So what I'm going to do, and I'm, I don't have to do it right now, is, is put um, a ribbon. So I put a ribbon on my prototype and then just tied it like that. But I don't need to do that because this isn't down yet. So I can go ahead and get my paper on and figure out the ribbon thing or the closure later. So that's how it should look. 
It's kind of cool the way it comes out like that. I like that. And now let's see what papers we can use. Okay, after spending way too much time trying to figure out how to decorate this, this is what I'm going to do. And we'll just go for it and see if it works. You are going to get this from the 8x8 collection. And you are going to cut this measuring over from this side, three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths, I believe that's what I did. Three and seven eighths. This one is going to be a little bit longer. It is four and one eighth. So my idea is I want to use these border strips as an indication that we're going to be pulling these out this direction. So this one, we're not using this side. We're going to turn it over, flip it around, and we're going to be using this part. So it's going to be something like this. We've got to trim them, obviously, get them in the right get them to fit right. And I also wanted to use a little red border strip and we've got these little red cranberry strips all over the place. And I wanted to put this just like that so it just kind of edges this out just a bit. Like that. So I need to get my cuts and figure out how I'm going to get this all together. So first thing I'm going to do is just cut out this little red strip and I think I'll just put it down. Maybe I'll just cut it out and adhere it to this. I don't like to put this on top because I don't like I like it to be on the same level. But I'm going to go ahead and get this strip out. So I adhered that little skinny strip with scotch tape on the back. I just butted them up to each other and put some scotch tape and adhered them together. If you're a beginner, this is this is what you do when you are get a little obsessive here. I just needed that little that little border. So with that in place, I'm going to be cutting off this gold part up here because um, this this part doesn't have any gold and they need to be kind of matchy. So I'm going to cut that off and then I will get the right um, height and then get the right width. So I'm going to cut that off and then get my measurements. So this piece needs to be three and seven eighths inches wide by, what is it, by um, five and seven eighths inches tall. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start from here and go five and seven eighths and get that cut out and then do my three and seven eighths um, starting from this end to measure it out. So I'll be cutting part of this blue. Okay, I wanted to come back and kind of show you what my thoughts are on getting this thing wrapped up with the designer paper. So it's going to look something like this. So when we open this up, my idea was you have these two strips that you're going to be pulling like this. This is actually, uh, that's gonna go inside the pocket. So I made, I haven't put it down yet, I made this using that's the cutout from the 8x8 collection and I just backed it on my gold painted paper just cut out a piece of my gold paper um, and put it on some black cardstock and that's how it came out I think that's very pretty this is going to be an insert and we're going to put um, this on the top this piece came Oh my gosh, I just had it from here. 
so this this is the back side of it and I cut this piece out like this so this is going to go on the top and you'll see this once I get it all put together so this is going to go here this is going to go in this pocket this is the back pocket I put this and I'm going to tell you too in the video do not adhere your um, this back pocket down until we get this designer paper underneath, but um, I'll, sh I'll let you guys know beforehand. This tiny little strip of red, I mean, we're talking about one eighth of an inch little strip of red that's over that edge of the pocket, because here's the pocket that I got from, I just cut out one, like one eighth of an inch from this this strip right here from the 12 by 12. I just put it in the trimmer a little, like one eighth of an inch, a little less than one eighth of an inch. I just want it to highlight the edge of the pocket. So that's going to go there. This piece that's going to go inside the pocket is from the 12 by 12 here. So it's down there. So that's going inside the pocket, inside this pocket here. This pocket, which is back in here, this is from the 8x8 collection. It's this paper, and it's just going in like this. So that's going to be lining the inside of this back pocket. And then you have this insert. This is 12 by 5. I folded it at 6 inches. That is going to go inside that pocket like that. The top of the pocket is that piece I just showed you that you cut from, from here. I want this side down with the little rope side down facing the red, so it's going to be something like this. And this little lip will stop it from going farther down the pocket, and then this little piece will be going somewhere in the center like that. So that's going to be that part these full outs, since this was my idea, generally was going to be, originally was going to be a waterfall, I wanted to keep these spaces um, open for pictures. So this is all going to be for pictures here. I just used some uh, resume paper. I just like to use this 32 pound weight. A resume paper it's um, I think it's cotton it's yeah it's 100% cotton so it's 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 nice paper so I put that back there instead of using more designer paper got it dirty and then to cover the pocket it's going to be this from the 12 by 12 I picked this side again so that's going to go there. So that's covering the inside of the pocket like that. Just used my envelope punch again to cut that in the middle. And so that's the front side. So then it closes like this. So for the back side, for these back here, going to be getting, where is my other piece? Oh, I'm missing one piece. Uh, let me go find it and I'll be right back. Okay, found it. So for the back side here, uh, this is from the eight by eight paper. I think it goes like this. And I just kind of cut it down there, this like that. So I have all of the four presents intact and it cut through any of the presents and we have our Christmas tree 
Now you can do this a number of ways. First, I thought, well, I'm gonna put the Christmas tree down here and then another one of these papers down. That would look, that looks very nice. And I might do that. If you have a four by, a four by six picture, you, you would just cover up the Christmas tree, but still you would have the designer paper. And if you don't want to cover up the Christmas tree, you don't have to. Or the other option is to just do the presents like that. That would work. On the other side, on the back of this flap, have the, the presents. I have already put some score tape there. The presents down here and this paper. So you can easily put a photo here, a photo here. So that's your option. You can use presents and have your um, photo mat on the other side, or if you want, use the Christmas tree. That does look pretty. I think I'll use this, and if I want to cover it up with photos, no big deal. I'll just cover it up, but it's an option. So that, and I'm going to be putting a strip down here on each of these mats to, um, where is the one? I had it somewhere, but it was just a, a strip that I found in my, my, my little pile of where I have all my strips. I just throw them in here and then I just try them out and see which strips I would like. But I tr found some strips that I thought would look good for little tuck spot spots at the bottom. Um, but that's for another time. But so for now, I'm gonna get all these down, get my photo mat made, get my paper in, put this on, and then get everything squared up. So I added my golden ribbon here. So this is like a little over three inches up from the bottom, taped it to the back here. This still, remember, has to go into, into the pocket page. So we open it up and we have this and we haven't decorated anything on the inside yet. And you have this and this. So that goes back like this. We have not adhered this piece down to the back of this. Oops. Oh, make sure you got the top going in the right direction. So here's the top. So I, I, it's going to go down like this, right in the center, but you have these little black edges that we're going to fill in with these little strips. I think it's going to go like, like how? Like this. And these little strips were just cut from this paper right here. So you can see it's just that paper right in there like that. So those are just going to go in like that. This is eight inches. These are seven and seven eighths inches tall. And then this is going to be on top like that. So once they get in, it's going to be like something like that. So you get the idea. So it's going to be something like that. So I'm going to get those in and then we're going to go ahead and put either glue or I'm going to put score tape and then adhere this down on the back of this, this um, pocket page. So I wanted to come back and just show you the complete, how this looks completed. So this back insert, I ended up using this paper from my scrap pile. I thought that looked really nice there with it and used my resume paper um, to cover these back panels and found this little um, scrap in my, my pile. And remember we were saving this hopefully for something else. Well, I thought that would look nice in here, tucked in there. So this is our little 
insert into our back pocket. And again, it gets caught on this little lip right here. So this little lip is stopping it from going down. Because remember, this was backed on, let's see, how did I do that? I think I backed it on black cardstock. So it just lifted it up and it keeps it from going down right there. That's gonna, it's just like a stopper. You open up this with this ribbon. These open up like this. So on this side, you have that, that resume paper. You have this piece here. You have our pocket here. And I just put one of these journaling cards in, in here. And you can put a photo mat in there too. And here's this resume paper. Here's the front. Here's the back side. That paper here. Here's the, the presents on this side. On the back side of this is, I put the Christmas tree here and this paper here. So I think this looks very, very, very nice. So that is it for page six.